They are doing hard time for crimes like grand larceny, armed robbery, and murder. But they're having a great time preparing mouth-watering delicacies in the kitchen. They are chefs behind bars. Louis Ramirez is doing 15 to 20 for second degree murder. But in the kitchen here at the Maryland State Penitentiary, he whips up a killer souffle. Hey, where are the prisoners? They are in makeup. All right. Oh my God, you could land a plane in those pores. Life's hard. All right, mm. you're all finished. That's it? I'm just gonna hand you this for future reference. I give really great facials. Mm. I'll just slip you this up. You're not gonna get in trouble with the guard if I slip this. You couldn't tunnel your way out, could you? No, I guess not. Okay, here. In 2001, Rocky Morrison was convicted of aggravated assault and bludgeoning his accountant to death. But today, in the prison kitchen, he's tenderizing a chicken breast to within an inch of its life. So, how did you become such an accomplished chef? Like I was in on this bullshit B. Shit, I was just a fish. Hat caught me keister and dope. CUS put me on DSEC, threw me in a hole, had me on LOP. Me RPD is into 2023. Got sent to IK. Hey, what can I say? Okay, that was great. Could you do that again this time? Um, just flesh out the part about the beef and the fish. I say we move this shot here and this one here, and it all works a lot better. What do you think, dog? No comment, eh? Oh, figures. Hi, Otto. <laughs> it's a good boy. Now get the hell out of my seat. Jessica? <sighs> Sorry, I was just helping Joel log some stuff. Okay, come on, Otto. So how's it coming? Not so good. Doug didn't give me enough cutaways. Doug says editors always say that. He does, huh? You seem to get the cutaways? No, I was out with a client. He always gets enough cutaways. Ooh, getting a little defensive about Doug, huh? No. I... Joel, could you take a couple of baby steps over to oh. your right for me, sure. Looks like you're finishing up a vegan dish here. Would you mind explaining what you've done with it? You know what? I'd love to. See, I think that the dish and the plating are all a reflection of your inner path. Every dish that I make is part of my story. Awesome, continue. You see, in this case, the rice base is the wholesome foundation like my childhood home. But the black pepper seitan layered on top invokes the years of struggle when I hit the streets and start jumping out. Finally, I've garnished the peak of cilantro. At the mountaintop, peering through the clouds, reaching for the sun, much like myself. Look, I got a present for you. I have the stock footage. Maybe you can cut away to that instead of the cutaways. Look, can I tell you a little something, Sparky Spark? Sure. I know a little something about office relationships. Bad idea, bro. What do you mean? You, Doug. What makes you think that Doug and I are? Um... <laughs> Just a vibe I got, that's all. Does anyone else think this? Look, Doug's an all right guy and everything, but he's got an old lady. Me and my old lady, been together three years. She's in IT. She's pretty? Yeah. I don't have time for anyone. 12 hour days, weekends. Whatever you say, Sparky Spark. If there was something going on, I'm, I'm sure that would be very helpful, but uh, there's not, so. Um, it's not. So, I gotta go log some tapes. <laughs> Don't let the baby field greens fool you. In here, your sous chef is still your bitch. See that right there? Mm -hmm. I'm dressed. Mm -hmm. 
Because I do what? You drizzle. I drizzle. Why? Because you do drizzle. I'm the drizzle. That's right. I drizzle. That's right. Yeah, I'll try that. Let me get with that, man. Hey, man, look, relax, dude. As soon as you get finished, put it in the bowl and I drizzle you up. All right? Man, so let me just give you like, man, relax. Let me just give you like, man, relax. Let me just give you like, man, relax. Time code on that. 10429. Sweet.